Hey guys, Andre here. Today I want to talk to you about the new caps from the Line 6 Helix. Now, you already know that they sound really good, uh, but there's this, especially this parameter that is called a delay, that I've been seeing that a lot of people uh, still doesn't know what it really does and how powerful it can be. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly what it does and you'll be able to dial in your tones just the way you want it. Now, I think the best way to do this is by giving you a visual representation of what is actually happening. So let's go to Cubase so I can show you. This delay parameter has two important functions that I can think of. One of them is to widening up the audio and the second one is to align IRs. Okay, before we jump to the Helix, let me show you because this is really important. So in yellow, you can see two different takes that I recorded and in gray is the same take that I doubled. Both are panned hard left and hard right because this only works if at least one of them is panned. They are both in the center. Uh, the only thing you'll do is mess up uh, your sound. Now think of this like the yellow one is like if you have two guitars in one band playing live and the gray one is if you are the only guitarist in your band. So. Here's how it sounds to guitarists. Here's how it sounds on guitarist. So if you didn't notice any difference, pay attention to uh, the yellow. You will you will hear completely in the necessary image, one completely hard left and one completely hard right. While the gray one, while they are panned to the left and to the right too, uh, they are in the center. Check this out. So why does it happen? Well, that's a whole video just to talk about that. Let's just say that it happens. Now, what a lot of mixing engineers do is call it by the Haas effect, which in simple terms just means that uh, if you delay one of the tracks, uh, they will sound wider. So let's do it. I will move forward one of them. And now let's see how it sounds. And I will be swapping to the original position and to this one. Hopefully you can hear that when I move forward one of the tracks, they spread out. When I move it to the original position, it goes to the center. Listen one more time. This is exactly what the delay parameter does. When you adjust it, move forward, what you're doing is just moving one of the impulse responses, which looks like this. You're just doing this which I can show you here. So this is a test generator that I use uh, to do this. And here is the signal coming for, from the Helix without any delay. And in yellow, it's just a delay, not two milliseconds, it's 0 0.2 milliseconds. And you can see that the first wave just moved forward a little bit. And here in green, you can see a 0 0.8 milliseconds delay. If you compare it, you can see that it's moving a lot forward. And so this is one of the functions that the delay parameter has, widening your sound. And this can be useful if you want a wider sound or if you are the only guitarist in your band. So the perceived sound is much more wider. Now, what is curious about this is you said, uh, you can do this since the Elix came out uh, just by using a um, delay block. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the regions are totally aligned here and I'll be using one delay plugin with a 30 milliseconds delay. So let me show you what it does. Now let's go to the Helix to show you exactly what is happening. Okay, first of all, let me show you the dual cab without any delay. And as I change the snapshot, you will see an increase of the delay and you will hear the difference. So here's without any delay. Now some will sound bad. Just know that the higher you go, the wider it sounds and at some point it will sound like a room reverb, the early reflections. So let's hear with the 20 milliseconds. Let's go higher, 30 milliseconds. And 40 milliseconds. So 
double hears without any delay and pan it uh, to the center. Now here's just pan it left and right. You can't hear any difference. And now with just a little bit of delay. And so this is what it does. Just don't forget that they need to be panned. As you can see, I have this one hard panned to the left and this one is hard panned to the right. Otherwise, it just, it will sound bad probably. Now, remember when I said that we have uh, this feature since the very beginning? Let me show you. Of course, we have to use more blocks here. And what I did here is that I just put two caps in parallel and one of them has a delay block. And here I panned one to the left and one to the right. The delay is off now and I will turn it on uh, so you can hear the difference. So here it goes with off. So as you can see, the same effect but of course with more blocks, which is a really great feature that we have now with the dual caps. This delay parameter has two important functions that I can think of. One of them is to widen up the audio and the second one is to align IRs. And the reason you need to align IRs is because some manufacturers will give you um, a minimum phase transformer format and the other ones can give you just the raw format. I think that mostly probably give you both of them but some don't do it. So what problem can this cause? Well, as you can see here, here's one with, with MPT and this one is in raw format. So let me show you how does it sound. So here we have a dual IR block and you can see that this one is the MPT and this one is a no MPT. And so let's hear how it sounds. It sounds bad because the phase is not aligned. So here's what you can do. And you can see here in Cubase that the difference of, from them to be aligned, the first one needs to move forward about one and a half millisecond, which by the way, it will be really great line six if you, give, if you could give us a visual representation of what is happening because there's no way I can see which one needs to move forward or back. But let's move the IRA to the front, one and a half millisecond, or start off. Without delay. Let's put it to the front just a little bit more. And there you go. Now it sounds great. And so this is what you can do and how it really works, this delay parameter. Otherwise, I think this is pretty straightforward. Uh, you have the mics, you have the mic positions. I think that the delay parameter is really the only one uh, that I didn't see uh, no one talking a lot about. Hopefully now, well, uh, you understand better how it works and what it does. But if you want me to make one video on how I go about tweaking uh, these caps with the microphone positions and distance and whatnot, uh, just let me know in the comments. And that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers!